One of my favorite things about AEW is their variety in wrestling styles. We see it all in this promotion, including modern high flying, lucha libre, death matches, brawls, and now pure technical wrestling. AEW recently made two major acquisitions who need no introduction. CM Punk and Brian Danielson are two of the best wrestlers of their generation, and now they're in AEW bringing a style of professional wrestling that is earning rave reviews across the board. Look, AEW has always had very capable wrestlers who can go out there and put on a clinic. However, with the arrivals of Punk and Brian, this has been turned up to a level not seen before in the two-year-old promotion. In addition to the big two names I just mentioned, AEW has also made two major acquisitions who will further add to the technical foundation that AEW is setting up for the future. Two names who I can easily see reaching the top of AEW one day, Daniel Garcia and Lee Moriarty. With these four names coming into AEW, both the immediate and far future for the company look technically sound. This is Tranquilo Club and this is the arrival of technical wrestling in AEW. When AEW was just getting started, Cody Rhodes said that the promotion would offer a wide variety of styles. He said there'd be something for everyone. He conveniently labeled it a buffet of professional wrestling. And well, he was right. During AEW's first ever show, Double or Nothing 2019, we saw three different styles during the last three matches. Cody vs. Dustin was a storytelling bloodbath that was reminiscent of the mid to late 80s style that their dad competed in. Young Bucks vs. Lucha Bros was a blend of modern high flying and Lucha Libre style that left the audience in awe. Kenny Omega vs. Chris Jericho was very much a modern main event with the big fight feel. And since then, AEW has not shied away from exploring different styles. On the same show, we had a Joshi showcase with names who would become mainstays in AEW. Later down the line, AEW would also embrace hardcore style matches with the arrival of guys like Jon Moxley and Darby Allin. Hell, just a few months ago, we saw a true deathmatch on national TV when Chris Jericho and Nick Gage faced off. AEW is truly a blend of styles. On any given show, you're guaranteed to get a wide variety of matches. What this also means is that sometimes you're not going to like everything that's on the show. Personally, I enjoy about 90% of what AEW does, so this doesn't concern me too much. When QT Marshall enters my screen though, I can assure you I'm pouring bleach in my eyes. Now, one style that I've always been very fond of is the classic pure wrestling style that someone like Brian Danielson has mastered to a T, which is why when he arrived, I knew everyone on the AEW roster was going to have to step their game up. Every single match from Brian so far has been a technical showcase and he's elevated everyone around him because of it. I said it in my video centered around the match, but Kenny Omega has finally found his North American counterpart who will give him Okada level matches. This is what I meant before when I said AEW always had very capable wrestlers, they just needed more of them, and now they've got them. The other big name who recently joined the promotion, CM Punk, was being highly underestimated in my opinion. A lot of the talk over the 7 years that Punk was gone was how he wouldn't be able to hang with the new generation, that he was mostly just a talker and not a great in-ring wrestler. Now let me say, there are levels to this. Danielson is in the all-time great conversation, he's practically in a league of his own, but CM Punk is no slouch either. Since his long-awaited return, Punk has been putting on nothing but bangers in my worthless opinion. And quick reminder, outside of his match against Matt Seidel, he's not wrestling veterans. Punk is taking the opposite approach compared to Daniel. While Brian is getting all these dream matches against Omega and Suzuki right out of the gate, Punk is choosing to wrestle the young guns like Darby, Hobbs, and Garcia. As I said, all of these matches were of a style on a level that AEW rarely sees. Punk has only reminded people just how good he is in the ring. I mean, he's a Bret Hart fan. The man knows good wrestling. His match against Daniel Garcia is one of my favorite AEW matches this year just due to how technical and pure in professional wrestling it was. We went from rarely having these types of matches in AEW to now having them almost on a weekly basis due to the arrivals of multiple in-ring technicians. Hell, even a guy like Bobby Fish deserves a shout as a veteran who will be able to put on a more in-ring based match, although his are more strike based. Which brings me to the future. As important as Danielson and Punk are, AEW is also a company who is smartly investing in the company's future. Daniel Garcia was a name that was being mentioned heavily when it came to prospects on the independent scene. Unsurprisingly, WWE had made a play for Garcia. 
Also, unsurprisingly, they managed to let him slip away from their fingers. And honestly, I'm glad he ended up in a company that will properly allow him to showcase his ability. Since arriving in AEW, Garcia has been heavily featured. He's already main evented Rampage, and as mentioned earlier, he's already wrestled CM Punk. Daniel Garcia is a name who will get his own video in the future stars of AEW series, so I won't go too much into detail here. But I'll say this, this will go down as one of the more important long-term signings that AEW will ever make. Garcia is someone who is far beyond his age when it comes to his in-ring ability. At only 23 years of age, he's part of a foundation that AEW is laying for a style of wrestling that not everyone can pull off. A style that only the prodigies and the best can pull off. Which brings me to another big name for the future, Lee Moriarty. A staple of the indie scene over the past several years, Moriarty has seen himself compared to Brian Danielson during his rise on the indies and the comparisons are earned. The apex of combat is yet another young name who is far beyond his level of experience and will further set the foundation for the pure wrestling takeover that's currently unfolding in AEW. Moriarty will also get his own video, so I'll leave it at this. Garcia and Moriarty are part of the future pillars of AEW. They'll be main eventing shows for years to come, and with them, they'll bring in-ring experience that'll see them continue to put on the kinds of matches they've only just started having in AEW. Beyond Punk, Danielson, Moriarty, and Garcia will be a locker room who will have to step up to the plate to hang with these wrestlers, because now more than ever, AEW is the home of professional wrestling.